Hello guys, welcome to my channel, programming channel, hope you're having a nice time. So today, we're going to learn about form, form dragging and dropping, so that in such a manner that you just drag something in the form and then it recognizes the thing that you dropped. So the first thing, before we get into it, I just want to show you, uh, this is the this is, okay this is the this is the way we are going to do it first of all we are going, we are going to show you the example we are going to run it then after that one after you've seen it we'll start from fresh and create a new project implement the drag and drop behavior run it and we'll call it a day so let me run just the program so that you can see it first before we start developing it okay so this is the form you simply take something and drag it there and then it tells you you have dropped whatever i dropped it you dropped that one anything be it a folder be it a file okay so it's just that simple uh, let us continue now. The first thing that we are going to do, please create your Visual Studio. I am using Visual Studio 2012 Professional. But you can use any, you can use the free edition. You can use any that suits you. So the first thing will come and then create a new project. Okay. Yeah. So here is our new project. We're going to run it under .NET 4.5, but you're free to choose any version. It depends on the installation machine, the machine that you do use to install your program. We're going to call our program drag and drop program. Okay. So we should sudo will load the project. Okay. So after after we should sudo has loaded the program, here is our form. We can modify it. So these are the properties of the form. What we'll do is that the first thing about this form is that the text over there will change we come here to form text property yeah then we'll call it drag and drop demo okay after that one we'll come and change the background color of the form to a more beautiful one like this one okay then we'll come to the toolbox we'll search for group box we'll drop it over there then we'll enlarge it I just want to make the form look better so please don't worry about this one okay we'll say we'll tell the user to drag and drop the file over here okay okay so we've created our form the next thing that we're going to do is that you see under the form properties come over here at the events and then actually what we're going to do here is that we want we're going to capture the drag and drop events we're going to use two of them drag drop and drag enter these are the things that we're going to enable us to implement a drag and drop functionality so come here please choose the drag and drop just uh, click here it will generate the form then come again another one drag enter okay 
So this is the program we are in the code field. So the first thing that we do, we are going to do, I'm going to create simple methods that will help us over there. For example, the display method that will be used to display things when the user drops the file. So you will say public void display uh, display So display is going to take a string and display that string in a message box. And display that string over here in a message box. Okay, that is the first thing that we're going to do. So we come over here at the formant drag and drop. What you do is that you enter this. The first thing, whatever will be dropped there, we want to store it in an array. So say store the dropped files in an array string dropped files is equal to e dot data dot get data okay then we pass data format data formats dot file drop over there then what we do is that we cast this thing to an array string that is casting to an array okay then uh, uh, the next thing the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to loop through the drop files and show them example for okay we are going to use for each loop for each let me comment here first to make it more readable loop through drop files array showing them so for each string each file in dropped files mm -hmm. display uh, each file okay so as at per now the program can run but no it was it still won't work so the what, what we will come to do we come and enter uh, some things over here the form one drag enter so we say if e dot data dot get data present get data present then in the get data present method we pass two parameters first of all is the data formats data formats dot file dot file drop and then we pass a boolean false is equal to true 
then we come and say e dot effect is equal to what we're trying to do is the drag and drop uh, drag drag drop effects dot all okay so as per now if we run the program the program is here if we take a folder drop it over there no it's not working okay you know where the problem is so first of all before if you want to use and drag and drop the first thing the first rule that you have to do is that you have to come to the file uh, the form properties and here and say this is an allow drop there's a boolean here choose set it to true and then run the form so as at for now okay if you take this one and drop it over there it will tell us yeah the name of that file bit a folder bit a file it will tell us the path of that the full name of that file To make it more pleasing, I think we can. Okay, here we can see that you have dropped. Then we put that one over there plus each file, and then instead of just showing us the path, the full path of the thing, we can create a method that will show us that will take the path and convert it to the file name. So we'll say take path and convert it to file name. So we'll make it a private void. Mm, then we'll say get file name then of this in a, a will pass yes a string known as file path so this method it won't be a void method because we want to it's we want to replace this each file with this method so this method will take this file name this file path and then it will extract from it a, a file name without extension so we'll say here string because we are going to pass there we have to put the return type then we say return path okay dot get file name okay let us import the the system dot io so just right click the path which is underlined and then say use system dot io okay without extension get file name without extension then file file path right so we come here and then say uh, get file name of each file each file so users if we run the program we can see for ourselves we have our program over here if I drag the thing, it tells me get you have dropped removed. If I drop the images, you drop images. If I drop a single file, no, 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 no. If I drop a file, you have dropped. Okay, so the program is working fine. Uh, I think to make it more pleasing, 
we can just add a single okay something we want in us we want a situation whereby if we drop something here the color will change the color of the group box will change so let's come and write a method over here and then say change color if file is dropped so we'll make the thing private void change back background color <coughs> sorry change the background color then to change the background color we'll just say that group box one group box one dot back color is equal to color dot which color is the best I'm not sure mm, white something like that yeah. dot white that way then we come and implement this method over here so we have dropped each file then we say change color change back color so if we run the program here it is nice program if we take and drop it there you have dropped images okay drag and files over here it has changed the color just as we seen so users i think we'll end we'll end here today uh, I think we have a very nice tutorial. Uh, I'll see you later. So please subscribe to my channel. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. I think you can have a nice day. Enjoy yourself. Thank you.